Hi, Mike. Hi. You got mics in stereo hey, today. Um, How can we help? Oh, pardon me? I said you got mics in stereo today. How can we help? Oh, that's, oh, that's so cool. What a blessing. <laughs> hey, I was, talking to, talk, <laughs> I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday a little bit about our alpha program. That's the secondary question, as if you've heard of that. But my main question is we were talking, I was saying it sure seems like we're in the end times, looking at Matthew and Luke and Daniel and Ezekiel, different places. And he said how he was kind of tired of hearing that so much because clearly it says that we're not quite there and he ref- and I said well can you tell me where and he goes in Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3 where it says while people are saying peace and safety destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and he goes we're we're not there at this point and I thought about it today I thought about Biden and all that administration and um just all of that overall and I was curious about what you thought about that verse in Thessalonians 5 while people are saying peace and safety they are saying it. Where's this guy been? I, I, I came out of the 60s, man. Uh, everybody was saying peace and love and, and uh, safety and, uh, uh, you know, equality towards all. Uh, we're on the dodge of, dawn of the age of Aquarius. I mean, uh, they've been saying this for a long, long time. Mike, your thoughts? Well, uh, I like this question and I like your answer because it is exciting to add to this. The fact that they're saying not just peace, because in the hippie days, we'd hold our hand up and make the sign, the V sign that Winston Churchill did for peace and victory. Uh, But it's peace and safety. And then Jesus says that lawlessness will abound. And we're watching lawlessness abound right now. The people are being programmed to say, stop all of these burnings of buildings in portland oregon stop all this trashing of austin texas stop all this murder in chicago and they're going to be begging for safety so peace is one thing there's different types of peace but safety protects everyone yeah they're ukraine going to get sick and tired and that's going to usher in the man of peace the antichrist I think he's standing just to the left of stage behind the curtain, waiting for the final curtain to be raised and the spotlight come on him. And this has a lot to do with it, the peace and the safety. Amen. Chuck, I hope that helps. Great insight. Thank you guys so much. 